Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Nikki Bobby here, and today I'm going to show you how to make your very own roof rack for your RC rock crawler. Now, the one that I've had this on right now is the Axial Capra, but you can make this roof rack and put it on any rock crawler you'd like. So, that being said, let's jump right in to the video. Okay, so the material that you're going to need for this project is going to be some wiring. So this is the wiring that I'm going to be using, and this is actually just a push rod that I took out of an RC airplane. Um, they're pretty cheap. They only cost about three or four dollars at a hobby shop. But if you can't find one like this, any kind of wiring will work. As long as it's stiff but still bendable, it should work just fine. So once you have your wiring picked out, what you're gonna do next is grab a two by four. And you can see on this one, I have marked it in four places with these red dots here, here, and here, and here. So those four dots represent the corners of your roof rack. So depending on how wide and how long you want it to be, make sure that you set those four points appropriately. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to drill a hole with a Dremel on each of those four points. After we drill a hole, we'll go ahead and take a screw like this one and drill it through the wood. So as you can see, once these screws are obviously a lot longer than the wood is, so they're going to stick through quite a ways and that's exactly what you want. You want them to stick up quite a ways so that you have a nice sturdy post going through this 2x4. Now the drill bit that I'm using is a 3 16 size drill bit and that's because that's the appropriate one for this size screw. Um, anything like this will work. Any kind of screw or nail or bolt that you can find will work just fine. Just make sure that you drill the appropriate size hole for the screw you may be using. All right, let's drill some holes. All right, perfect. So we have this uh, built and this is gonna be kind of like a, a template almost. And it's gonna help us build the frame of the roof rack and make everything nice and straight and give us some nice sharp corners uh, so that the roof rack doesn't get all mangled. Um, so now that we have this built, we can start building the roof rack. So what you want to do is take your wire and just pick one of these posts, doesn't matter which one, and go ahead and just hook it around the post like this. And this is a good spot to probably break out some pliers because those will become very useful. So as you can see, I've kind of bent it around the screw to make a hook, and this is exactly what you want. This is going to keep the wire from slipping off the end there uh, while we wrap it around the rest of these screws. So what you do from there is you go ahead and just kind of keep wrapping it around each one to sort of create the frame of the roof rack. Alright, there we go, so that definitely took some mangling to get quite right, but we have this bent all the way around uh, each one of these screws, so we're ready to move on to the next step, and that is to take this off, get rid of your 2x4 for now, and what we're going to do is we're going to clip off this excess here, this excess here, and then we're actually going to attach these two pieces together like so. Um, now there's a couple ways you can do this. So after you clip off the excess and line them up just right, you can tape them together, you can try to glue it together, but the best way that I've found to do it is actually to solder them together. So that's going to be the way I'm going to be doing today. Alright, now I'm going to wait a few minutes and let it cool down and then we'll move to the next step of the roof rack. All right, so we are done soldering this together. As you can see, there's the mark where we had soldered and uh, it came out pretty nice. It's a nice smooth solder and it's super, super strong, which is probably the most important part. So to finish out this piece right here, just grab some wire clippers like this, 
and just cut off any excess like so. Now that that's done, we have a nice frame here and it's looking great so far. So the next step is to actually do this all over again just one more time. That way you have two frames, one for the actual frame on the base of the, uh, the roof rack and the other one is going to rise up a little bit so that you can build a wall or well like a like a side wall around the roof rack to actually make it a basket. Alright, so just finished building my second frame here and uh, they do line up really well so that's perfect. It means that they're right about the same size which is excellent. Things are looking really good so far. The next thing that we're going to do now that you have this second frame built is we're going to build the cross pieces for the base frame. So the pieces that are going to go across the base this, 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 this. It's basically going to be the floor of the roof rack, if you will. So that being said, your second frame, you can just set it aside for now, and we're just going to work with the original frame. So how we're going to do this is we're going to solder these pieces going across just like that. Now the first thing that I always like to do is I like to mark where they go. So it might be a little difficult to see, but I actually do have orange marks like right there and there and there. And that's where my cross pieces are gonna go. So I highly recommend uh, marking them down first. That way you just kind of have a plan and you really know where everything's going. Next thing I'm gonna do is grab this stone here and set it down so I can solder on this. Now I know that it's gonna be a little harder to see the frame now that it's on the stone, but you have to do it on something solid like this. You can't do it on the wood, otherwise it'll burn the wood. <laughs> so, now what we're gonna do is take some tape and just grab a piece and just tape down your frame like so. So I'm going to tape down the two ends just like this and leave all of these pieces exposed so that I have plenty of space to solder these on. So now that this is taped down, it's not going anywhere. What you'll do next is you need to take your wire and you just want to kind of uh, put it across it, almost like a dry fit and just sort of measure it out so that you get the right length. And as you can see, this one goes off quite a bit. And that's exactly what you want, actually. You want a little bit of excess on this side and excess on this side. So I'm gonna cut it right about here. Here's my piece, and as you can see, it is a lot longer than I need it to be. There is quite a bit of excess there, and that's actually exactly what you want. And here's why. We're basically going to use that excess to keep this secure in one spot. So I'm going to start with the middle one, and I'm going to tape it down on those excess spots exactly where I want it to be soft. Again, just use your tape, tape it down so that it's not going to go anywhere. So as you can see, I've now taped down this cross piece right in the spot where I want it to get soldered, and we can solder it on. Thing is 
starting to look really, really good. So now you can take off the tape that's holding the frame down. One more piece. All right, and look at that. Nice. All right, cool, so it's looking really good. Um, now what we have to do left is we're just going to trim off each of these pieces here. That way they're not sticking out, so just get rid of that excess there and uh, we'll move on to the next step. Alright, so here is our roof rack coming together right now. Everything is going pretty smooth so far and uh, it's turning out pretty good. Okay, so now that you have these cross section these cross sections in down here, we can attach this upper frame to the lower frame. So how I'm gonna do that is I'm actually going to use these pencils on the sides here. And basically I just put those in between the two um, frames like so, and then I just taped them in to keep them in place. So this does a couple things. One, it keeps the two frames from moving around and it also spaces it out at a nice spacing. Obviously, uh, if you use something bigger like a Sharpie, you can get that a little higher. Or if you use something smaller, you can get it lower. But I thought a pencil would work fine for spacing purposes, so that's what I chose to use. So, once you've done that and kind of rigged it up how I have here, you'll then take your wire and just like how we did the cross beams, we're going to wire it on Alright, so now that we have our roof rack painted, we're actually going to mount it to the car. So how we're going to do that is we're just going to glue it on at each one of these points right here. So those points that we left a little long at the corners of the roof rack, we're going to put little drops of glue there and glue it on to the top. Now the glue that I'm going to be using to do that is just your basic craft glue. The reason why I'm using this kind of glue is because it's strong enough to hold the roof rack on, but it's still easy to take off in case you need to get the roof rack off for whatever reason, you can do so. Let's glue it on. All right, there it is guys. We are done with our roof rack. It's on the RCA rock crawler and everything. As you can see, I've loaded it up with just a few random things just to make it look cool. And that is gonna wrap up this video. If you liked this video, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.